Yo, 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 what the deal? It's your boy X dot E dot L dot O. Welcome back to the channel. Thank you guys for coming back. But if you're new here, definitely like and subscribe. Hit that bell notification so that I'll let you know when I drop another video. Today we will be going over the Cakewalk 2021 12 update that they just released. A couple of new things in there. Let's get right into it. All right, let me move my big face out the way. All right, and this is a uh, cakewalk and this is my dark theme. If you're interested in this theme or my light theme, I have a link below in the description. And yes, these themes are updated and will work with the 2021.12 update that they just released. So I have uh, adjusted the uh, archive button for you guys. All right, so um, they've actually taken a couple of things and uh, change them like the tab key you used to be able to move through your audio snap to go to the next part or piece if you're in audio snap. So let me show you how to put it back on here. All right, so I'm going to hit P on the keyboard. This is brings up my uh, preferences screen and we're going to scroll down and make sure your advanced button is actually checked on here. And we're going to go to keyboard shortcuts. All right, and once you're in keyboard shortcuts, you want to find. All right, so what you want to do is find the tab, right? And it says it's unassigned now because they removed the tab off of um, the audio snap. So what you want to do here is go into. You want to go in audio snap and. And find the go to next. And then you want to bind those keys. So when you bind it, it'll um, set it to the tab key here. And you want to find the shift to go back, go to previous one. So for this one, you want it to be uh, the tab and shift, shift and tab, I should say. Shift plus tab. And you want to bind that one. Sorry, uh, go to previous and you want to bind that one. So now this is how it was set up before they removed it off of here. Uh, when they actually did the update for this one. So if you need these on here and this is something that you do use inside of your audio snap, I would suggest to do this as well. And then you just uh, apply and it'll be on there for your next setup. All right. I know you guys came here for the nested folders inside of Cakewalk for this update for the 2021.12. So let me show you how uh, you can set some things up and get it going. I'm gonna hit on this plus sign here, right? And I'm gonna do um, contact. And what I wanna do is hit on this little uh, play option here. And I'm gonna hit on a create folder and I wanna insert the instrument track per track out, which makes it 16. So I'm gonna hit create. And now we have a folder already for contact and we can minimize it if we want to, to hide them or do whatever, right? So let's say we wanted to add another folder, right? So I'm gonna right click in here. I'm ha I have some uh, templates I already created. So let's do a project Sam, which is like also contact stuff. Let's do a um, sample tank. I'm gonna do, I have like a couple of setups. So I'm gonna do a four out setup for my sample tank. Um, let's do some drums. So I'm gonna add some drums in here. So let's do, let's do some complete control hip hop drum kits that I set up. And let's do one more, let's do another drums. Let's do Satilla. So man, we have 48 tracks just that fast, just from adding like templates and actual instruments inside of Cakewalk. So let's say I wanted to collapse every single one of them at the same time. I can hold control and shift and click on this first plus, um, minus or plus sign and it'll close every single folder and that's control and shift. So I can do the same thing, control and shift and it'll make everything open up, which is really cool, right? So if I just wanted to do this one, I, you know, I could just hit the plus sign on that one. And let's say I wanted to move this uh, Project Sam, right? This Project Sam folder, 
I want to move it. So I can right click on the folder and move folder to, let's say, contact, right? So now you see it moved over toward the right. So now this is actually inside of this contact folder. So if I collapse the contact folder, it'll also collapse the project SAM, right? So if I wanted to move this out of the folder, I can right click on here and I can hit remove from folder and that will remove it out of that folder and bring it down to the bottom. It will always drop it down to the bottom of your folder. So I'm gonna do a control and shift and collapse all of them. All right, so now that we have them all collapsed, uh, if you wanted to move it, you can click on this area here and you can see I can drop it in any one of these folders that I want to. The, um, let's say I didn't wanna drop it inside of this folder and I just wanted to kind of have it underneath, make sure your cursor is toward the right. So if you put it toward, I'm sorry, toward the left. If it's toward the left, it'll make, it'll just move it up uh, along the chain. But if you move it toward the right, it will drop it in whatever folder is on top. So example, so if I go here to the left-hand side, as you see, it just moved the project SAM project up. Now, if I move it, let's move it back down, right? I'm gonna move it back down. My cursor's to the right, I have it highlighted or grabbed. So I could drag it toward the right and it's gonna go inside this just drums folder. As you see, it disappeared. So if I hit the plus sign for this, now it's in this folder. So in order to move it out of the folders, you wanna hold it down and drag it toward the left. This is another way to do it. Um, you can always do the right click and you know uh, move it to a folder. Like I can move this to the contact folder and I can go and click on this and right click on here and move it out of the folder, remove from folder and it'll remove it out of it and drop it down to the bottom once again. So these are really cool things that they've added on here. So I'm gonna add it back into that folder so you can see it in there. Move the folder, I'm gonna put it back in complete and let me put this folder, I'm gonna move this folder into the drums. So now I have my drums in here and let's move this folder and put it into the contact folder. And as you see, it has a hierarchy, so I can even drop it inside of the project SAM folder if I wanted to. Uh, so let's go and just put it in the contact window. So now I have the sample tank, I have my project SAM, and I have my contact folder up here. So uh, let's say you wanted to see all the things that you had in your folder. So let's say you had a whole bunch of, a list of, uh, folders that's set up on here and you just wanted to see what is in that folder. You know, you don't want to see if that folder has other folders in it, right? So you can hit on this little drop down arrow here and it'll tell you that there's two folders inside of this folder. I think that's really cool. They just added this on here so you can see what folders are actually in there. It tells you if you have audio, how many MIDI, how many synths, and if any of them are actually hidden. So this will give you that information up here. Uh, if you need that for more organization for your tracks, right? So let's say I wanted just to collapse this one or open up this one with all the subfolders open as well. I can just hold down shift and hit the plus sign and that will open up all the folders that are in this top folder. And it would it'll work the same if you hold shift and hit the plus sign all of them will collapse. And now if I just open this up, only the contact will open and the other two will still be closed. I think that's pretty cool that they actually have that on here. So let's say I wanted to move this one into this uh, sample tank. So now the project SAM is inside the sample tank. And if I wanted to expand them, I can just do the shift uh, or close them all and just do the shift and uh, whatever you're clicking on, right? So I can minimize this one and I can do the shift and clap and they'll pull up all the ones in there. Even if it's a subfolder like this one, you'll get all the folders open. And if you want every single folder open in the project, you hold down control and shift and hit the sign and it'll collapse them all or you can expand them all. It matters which one you're on when you're doing it. So if you're on the minus, it'll close them all. If you're on the plus, it'll open them all, every single one of them. All right. Hi, so this is a great way to organize all of your instruments. 
all of your vocal sets, if you have like a whole bunch of different guitars or different strings or different pianos that you really like to use, you can just create templates for them. And that way you'll be able to get to those templates really quick. If you're not sure how to make templates, I have a video showing you how to do that. Don't worry about it, all right? But this is pretty much the end of the video. This is most of the things that they actually did for the 2021.12 update. <laughs> Man, that's kind of hard to say. But yeah, if you guys have any questions about it, definitely leave a comment below. I get back to all the comments that I actually get on my page. So with that being said, this is the end of the video. Thank you guys for watching. Make sure you like, subscribe, hit that bell notification. And once again, it's your boy, x.e.l.o. Until next time, people. Peace.